Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Rich. My father, guys, there is a latest transfer news about Alvarez to Chelsea again and Conor Gallagher and Watkins' latest transfers. So, guys, let's start with Julian Alvarez own and let's confirm it before we come and discuss about it or talk about it, guys. Julian Alvarez has asked to leave Man City after rejecting a new four year contract. He has also demanded that City set a logical asking price for potential buyers in Europe. So guys, that is the information. That Alvarez refused to renew his contract at City. I think City wanted to give him four years contract, but he said he want to leave, he will not renew. And guys, if this is true, what is Chelsea waiting for? What is Chelsea waiting for? Chelsea, go get this guy. Look sharp. Don't let any team go first. In fact, Premier League proven player, being, being clinical, young, Alvarez is the real definition of the striker Chelsea won currently. Yes. In fact, Alvarez is underrated. And because of the team he's playing, his competitor is scoring goals more than him. So we underrate him. But Alvarez will be a perfect fit for our striking position. If this is true, guys, if this is indeed true that Alvarez refused to renew his contract at City, just have to get him. Yes, even if Chelsea will pay 100 million for him, no problem. I will pay 100 million for a defensive midfielder, more than 100 million. So if Chelsea will pay 100 million, 70 million, 80 million, Alvarez deserve it. Yes, guys, because when you look at this, our team, everything or every position now completed. What we just need is a striker, clinical striker, the striker that we can trust on, we can believe on. And that's what we need for now. We now have defenders, midfielders are there, wingers are there. Next season, some wingers will join Chelsea. Next season, some defenders will join Chelsea. But we need a striker. Clinical, who, who had the Premier League experience. And Alvarez is the real definition. Yes. So, guys, let's hope this information is true that Alvarez is now pushing to leave. Because that is the only way Chelsea can stand Alvarez. Unless he pushed to leave, then Chelsea can get the chance to sign him. But as we are speaking now, he's still under contract with City. If City don't want to sell him, Nobody can sign him. So let's hope this is true. And today's market, nothing is impossible. Anything can happen. <laughs> Transfers are happen in a magical way. <laughs> in a miraculous way. So let's hope this is true. And if this happened to be true, in fact, just have to run, 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 run fast and get us Alvarez. So guys, that is the latest information for Alvarez. That Alvarez refused to renew his contract at City. And do you think Chelsea should go get him? Do you think Alvarez will be a better option for our striking position, guys? So let me hear from you under the comment section your thought and your opinion about this Alvarez transfer, guys. And let's move to the next transfer. Gallagher and Watkins transfer. But before we go there, guys, please just remind you to subscribe. Like this video to go far. At least 8 likes go do. And please don't forget to subscribe. And let's move to... Gallagher and Watkins transfer, guys. And let's confirm it also before we come and discuss about it. This is it, guys. Chelsea are willing to offer Gallagher plus cash to secure Oli Watkins this summer. Chelsea are willing to offer Gallagher plus cash to secure Oli Watkins this summer. Guys, that is the information. And Chelsea want to add cash plus Gallagher to get Oli Watkins. And my problem here is that the cash added, addition of the money, it should be straight deal. Gallagher is still young. 24 and Watkins is 28. So Gallagher still has a lot of more games to play. Future ahead of him. So even uh, Aston Villa supposed to even add Chelsea money plus Watkins to get Gallagher. Because Watkins is 28. Gallagher is 24. So that is where I have a problem. Guys, adding the money. But apart from that, Watkins is very good player. Yes, having the shooting boot, 
being in the Premier League also for some seasons. Very good player, experience. He's now in his prime, 28 years of age. Yes. So, getting workings for Chelsea will not be a problem or will not be much problem, but adding the money. Because when I check Watkins' market value, yes, his market value is bigger than Conor Gallagher because Watkins has a market value of 70 million and Gallagher has 50 million. So almost 20 million different. But it doesn't matter because Gallagher is younger. Gallagher still has uh, uh, years, seasons upon seasons to play more than Watkins. When we say Watkins, he's 28, maybe getting to four seasons or three seasons or five seasons. He will be going for retirement and Gallagher will still be playing. So this is where I have a problem. But apart from that, it's okay. Watkins coming to Chelsea for now, it's okay. And what I even like about Watkins, he's just a typical number nine. For Watkins, he doesn't play left wing, attacking midfield or right wing. He's just a number nine. His duty is to score goals, to be in the box, being shoulder to shoulder with op opponent defenders, matching their shoulders, disturbing them. And I like those strikers. Strikers whose main aim is to shoot, score goals, not to dribble or to assist. And that is the one thing I like about Watkins. And the cash is my proven, as I said. So guys, that is the information or the latest information. If this is true, guys, will you accept that Chelsea giving Aston Villa Plus cash to get only Watkins? Guys, let me hear from you under the comment section. And let's move to the next round. In fact, guys, just renew another academy player uh, uh, contract uh, whose name is called Frankie Ranham, guys. And he joined Chelsea when he was 8 years of age. Now he's 15 years of age playing for Chelsea under 18, the academy level. And Chelsea gave him 3 years contract, guys. Frankie Ranham. So that is good. That is the future for any team and Chelsea Football Club in particular. If it happened that Chelsea said Rich James, today we wouldn't have him. If it happened that Chelsea said Chaloba Galaga today, we won't have them. So that is good for renewing another young, talented academy contract, Frankie Ranham. Chelsea gave him three years contract, as I said, and he's 15 years of age as we are speaking now. And Chelsea want to sign another young player from France, guys. And let's look at that player. Four clubs will appear to be the most advanced in the quest for they said, do. Rennes will hold for 50.4 million bonuses included. And the club's interests are Bayern Munich, PSG, Chelsea, and Tottenham. So, guys, that is the player. They say, do. They say, do. So, in France or in French names, anytime you see a, 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 a dot on top of a letter, you add A to it. A. Like, like uh, Mbappe name, you see at the ending, on top of the P, there is some dot on top. So that's why we are calling P, Mbappe. And Dembele also, you see, there is some dot on top of, at the end of his name. That letter. So that is why we are calling him Dembele. Le, le. So this guy, his name almost, almost, almost three dot on top. And he's also French. They say de. They say de. Mbappe. Dembele. So, <laughs> anytime you see <laughs> that dot on top of a French player name, you add de. So, just want to sign that young player or this young player called. They say de, guys. And Renis won 50 million. And it is not only just want him, guys. PSG want him. Tottenham want him and Bayern Munich also want him and Chelsea also want him. And Rennes want to take 15 million. First, let's look at the player who is the CD. In fact, he is 19 years of age from Rennes Academy and France International. Currently, he's playing for France under 23 and playing for Rennes in France. Guys, and he's from Rennes Academy, being France International, 19 years of age. So that is the player Chelsea want to sign. He's 19 years of age. And Renis won 50 million for him. And if I this 50 million price on him, it's because Chelsea is there in that deal. That is why they price him in that 50 million. I don't understand. Anytime Chelsea want to sign player, they overprice that player. Because they know we have the money back. But it doesn't work that way. Having money doesn't mean that you spend it recklessly. <laughs> so 
For me, I see this 15 million on top of uh, uh, this young player because of Chelsea. Because, Abba, maybe at least, uh, even if he will cost 13 million, 25 to 13 million, not 15 million, 19 years of age, that's from the academy to the senior team recently. And we are buying him 15 million. It's too much. The market value is too much. And that will be my problem about this player. But he's a good player, midfielder, left footed midfielder. He's good and good for the future. So, guys, that is the young guy I just want to sign. Deside or Deside from Rennes in France. And Chelsea also said their best wish to Conor Gallagher, Cole Palmer, and Cocorella. In fact, Chelsea put it in a written form. Send it to Cole Palmer, Conor Gallagher, and Cocorella. Just to wish them all the best for the Fana. And we are also wishing them all the best for the Fana as a football fans and as just fans. So if any of them win, they deserve it. They deserve it. And may the best team win. And let's hope we do not see any uh, ever controversial uh, 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 fouls there. We want a genuine Fana. Someone who will win it and that person deserve it. No argument like the semi-final, uh, England semi-final, the hurricane penalty. Some people were saying it, it wasn't a penalty. Some people uh, said it was a penalty. So let's hope we get a correct final today. Yes. So guys, that is the information. And let me hear from you about all the transfer that we discussed. And watch this video. Watch this video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe. Like this video to go far. At least it tell us go do. Renato de Palma Vega, 20 years old, centre back. And how pleased are you to be sitting there, a Chelsea player? Yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, it's been a long, it's been a long road. Very happy and excited to get started. Just doing what you're doing. It's good. My family is everything for me. Um, they've sacrificed a lot uh, for me to be here, and uh, that's my main goal is to put them where they belong. It's up there. Buzzing to be here, can't wait to get started. Let's get it. So did you watch any Chelsea players growing up? Kante, yeah, straight answer. Because unbelievable, 70% of the world is covered by water and the rest is by Kante. <laughs> so yeah, amazing player. And because uh, I played in his position as well, uh, a lot of times. So I, I love watching him. And have you always wanted to play in the Premier League? Yeah, for sure. Best league in the world, no doubt about that. And then what are your hopes for the season? Becoming the best version of myself that I can probably be. Um, that's why I wake up every day and that's my goal.